All right, welcome back from that short time, and if you're just joining us, we'll be talking sports, myself and Obina here, and we'll move us to the next segment of the program, and this time around, we'll be looking at the not just concluded hockey championship that come finished in Kaduna. There was no stopping the girls from Kaduna as they cruised into their fourth executive National Hockey Super t League titles after two new win against the Delta Queens at the Abuja National Stadium on Saturday, and those are the pictures of um, the games, the, the, the players um, between the Cardinal Babes and some of other players who participated in that competition after finishing top of the law with an outstanding record of five wins and one draw from six games. Kata Queens set up a final class against Delta Queens, who finished with a point total of 12 from the same number of games. Just as it was when self when size met during the rob round robin games, Delta Queens tried their best to but. There was there were no match for the Kada Queens who dominated the game from the blast of the whistle um, to put them in the fourth consecutive win of the National Hockey Super League titles four times in a row. And uh, this is to tell you that this did be consistent of being uh, talking about the Kada um queer babes who have dominated that particular game. Well, uh, if you are talking about uh, other other uh, the, the so-called lesser sports in Nigeria, I think the the, the, the Northerners, the Northern states, they are, they, 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 they have they have the flair. they have the flair for the, the, the knack for those, those kind of uh, 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 sports because we have seen them dominate uh, the handball. Though you, in the West you see some teams that also play handball, but is their handball you see them play there. You see cricket. They still play cricket there, and right now we are talking about hockey, and they play polo also. They play polo, and uh, all these things that they, they, they are the things that you rarely see in Nigeria. People don't put their interest into it, but in, in the north, okay. it's something that the youth well, wants to do, and that's why they are dominating. Yeah, Nelson in that that um, that that's the male category of that particular coming. I've seen it in that team. He put Kada Queens in front of before the the Nardio scored the second goal to power baba and that had led girls to the 28th national super league final and kata queens are now won the title 2015 2016 2017 and 2018 a total of 43 goals were scored individual awards in the mixed category include the top scorer mclean chong Neri from Rivers Angel, six goals, best goalkeeper Emmanuel Neji, and best midfielder Omoget Ohali Losa, best attacker Inatimi Nelson from Kada School Stars, and best young player Doka Stefa from Benue Amazons, where some of the awards they were received at the end of this competition. And this is the semi finals of the males category of that particular championship that ended on Saturday here in Abuja. And Obina, you were saying something before I caught in truth. Well, uh, I was saying that uh, if you look very well, the Northerners they tend to dominate because they have a knack for this this sort of sports. They put their interest into it. The youth. I I remember I I went to I went to Busayo to, to cover the the, the 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 handball league that was held there, right here in Abuja, and we saw the Kada Stars, the Kada Queens. They also have came with their the, with, with, with their male and female uh, teams, and they competed very well. And if you see the, the, the way they play, you know that this is a sport that these people have actually put their interest into. They want to win. They want to make something out of it. And that is what has been going for them. You see Kada Queens, in, in the, in the, they have the, their handball team. Kada Queens, they have the hockey team. So what else are we talking about? So more attention gradually. That's why, that's why they are dominating four in a row. They have won the title four in a row. And uh, no other team comes close to them. The only cl closest team cl uh, to them was... Uh, the data the data queens in the female category so it shows that these people they are way way ahead and that's what we have to start encouraging we have to encourage the youth in every all the states in nigeria to actually look into all these uh so the lesser sports the so-called lesser sports yeah. to see that okay we can make something from this because i remember if you go to the eastern part of the of nigeria you really see them play hockey you really see them you know you might see them play handball but hockey polo I don't think those sports are something that uh, they want to do over there. Okay, so it, ha it has to be encouraged that you can make something from these sort of sports. Okay, like the gradual build up over yeah, the years. Definitely. To see what um, the shooting it needs sensitization. Yeah. Okay, should actually um, sensitize the youth about these sports. 
maybe bring tournaments where cricket, these youths can actually cricket, cricket, engage themselves. Cricket is actually popping up too. So, Obina, I, I think Nigeria is actually wake, waking up to um, yeah, the, I, the fact I, that... Yes, say, if, you, if you talk about how they, 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 they have been doing it, you see that it boils down to states, the state governments. The state government have been trying. Look at the Lagos state. They are promoting all the sporting activities. They are promoting sports so that they will engage the youth. You see every week you will see a tournament being held in the in, in Lagos. They, they just started the the Shei Akin Akin Omi under 13 football competition. It shows that they want to keep the youth on their feet. They want to do something, grow the talent that they have in Lagos State, and that's what they have they have been doing. We are seeing squash competition, uh, cricket, so many competitions being held in Lagos State, and that's what I think other states should try and inculcate into their own into their own state bring these tournaments into your state make the youth engage them into all these sporting activities but we'll see some something will start working out for all the for for for, uh, for nigeria we we'll produce players that can represent uh, nigeria at every other tournament that we want to go to all right we could produce all the kind of players who want to play to want to prep to to create in all categories of sports that's coming from obina it might take a while but we have to start to build up as he said cut them young when they are still young you can put these things in secondary schools and see how we can have a build up to other lesser sports like we refer to them in nigeria who are actually bringing medals to other um, countries but still talking sports this morning and moving to basketball the, the tigers um are at work um at work in progress says otis holy despite massive 133 points to 33 victory against selected women's side um head coach of the tigress um tigress otis holy believes his team is still work in progress and um, speaking at their test match played on sunday at the indoor sports hall of national stadium lagos holy said He's not carried away by the final result um, because his team can still do better. And when you talk about basketball, and that's a picture of Holly on the screen there when he said that at the National Stadium in Lagos State. And Obina, you agree, Obina, when it comes to basketball in Africa, the Tigers and the Tigers actually dominate the scene when it comes to Tiger. But for the coach to come out to say that they are work in progress, that means we're going to be expecting much as well as they are getting Definitely. ready for a bigger competition. Yeah, the team, when you talk about the female team, we, have the, we, are, we are the number one in Africa when you talk about the female team in basketball. But we, we, we tend to lose it anytime we travel and play international competitions. We, we have not won any any game in international competition. So I think that's where the coach is pointing to because the World Cup is around the corner. The World, yeah. Cup, the World Cup is around the corner. So the coach is pointing towards the work that needs to be put. They have to do something so that they will see how they can win that that a win in the international competition because that has been a problem for both male and the female cat, uh, and the female, female category, category though the male ball. sometimes we, if we go to tournaments we tend to win one or two games uh, before getting knocked out but the female uh, team they have never won a match in the international competition so i believe that uh, that's where the coach is pointing towards though you win you dominate africa you win your friendly matches right here in nigeria you are pre that's preparation everybody wants to prove to the coach that i i need to be in that team so that's what the coach is pointing to well, well, more work needs to be done okay for, but well, for the sake of our viewers out there let's just give a verbatim quote of what um, otis said he said there are still a lot of things to work on the practice session is just a revelatory um section and it revealed lots of things that we need to look at and fix and when we go back to practice we will take it we'll take our time we'll fix in it in part and put it together and fix it as a whole that's coming from a veteran coach who was a former um, assistant coach of the sacramento kings as you know that obina yeah. with vast experience what are we expecting to see when the world cup finally come out we're going to be seeing some um, very very crucial changes in our uh, the tigress well with the words of the experience that the coach have gathered over the years uh, coaching uh uh, the Sacramento okay, I think he will bring that into into the team right now because the, the way the way the team they, they are shaping up they change the captain of the team and everything all that uh, I think they are, they are moving on the uh, on the right direction for me but with the right attitude and the right mentality they can they can go far they can go far let them concentrate on training train 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 harder and see how uh, so that they will get, get to know okay this is what we are not doing right this is what we are doing wrong 
You understand? In international competition. Because playing in Africa is different from playing in the international competition. We are playing against the more oh, fancy opposition. Right, right. Maybe you are playing against a USA national team, a USA national team, basketball team. It's a very, a very difficult game. It will be a very difficult game for Nigeria to win. On paper, everybody will, US oh, actually, will win. Actually, US yeah. will win. You understand? So I think we need to start working on those uh, uh, angles to see that anytime we meet against a team like USA, it will not be like okay, Nigeria, uh, USA will win. It will be a game. Let people guess who will win. Not it is certain that USA will win. Okay, well, until the head coach has come out to assure that the current African champions, talking about the Tigers, will be in good shape before their first game against Turkey. Nigeria is in Group B alongside Turkey, Australia, and Argentina in that particular series. Well, let's see how it pans out for them. They said, when you are well prepared, you achieve anything you set out to achieve. So let's hope and pray that the Tigers will actually you get the preparations they need and the desired results they are looking out for but we'll take a short time out now when we come back we'll be diving into the last segment of the program and this time we'll be talking football 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 stay tuned we'll be right back after the short time out